Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, the EFF creations. As we know, the Oracle Cloud supporting three kind of flex fields. One is KFF, DFF, and EFF. What is KFF key flex field? This particular flex field will be used widely in the Oracle Cloud for configurations. Let's say GL, so and locator controls. So most of the things, the KFFs <clears throat> will be used to derive those configurations. And DFF, DFF and EFF, we can find mostly we can find these kind of uh, uh, flex fields which are, which we are going to use in the transaction screens. DFF is descriptive flex field. EFF is extensible extensive flex field. So DFF EFF more or less both are similar kind of nature but we have more number of features more number of uh, importance uh, or uh, what do you call application or advantage you can say simply so the EFF process so DFF and EFF mostly these kind of flex fails which we are going to use in the transaction screens so today, today we will talk about how are we going to define or set up the EFF creations for order management? Okay, <clears throat> so if you open the screen of order management, we can find header lines, fulfillment line. So, I mean, three to four sections are uh, three, uh, maximum three to four sections. System will allow to embedded additional information. Let's say I want to feed some additional information at the header level system will allow sim similarly at the line level, similarly at the fulfillment level. So what basic setups which we need? What is the uh, logic which we are going to build in order to get the EFF creation per OEM? So first step is create contexts. So we have a setup called as order EFF extension flex fields. Once you go there, I'll show that one before moving that. So we have to first setup is create context and under this context you can create the segments segments will be text box list of values okay or check boxes so whatever option which you want you can define these segments and then associate this context and associate the context with the page after once you've done these four setups four steps deploy the flex field and also publish the flex field into the application <clears throat> now we'll see how are we going to define this for header see once you understand for header same kind of uh, what you call uh, uh, concept for line level as well as fulfillment level <coughs> okay now we'll go to the system and show how we need to open that particular flex field so go to order management and this EFF will be used not only in OEM, we can use in the item master in product information management. Okay, so once you understand this logic, same kind of logic, if you want, you can implement at the item master level as well. Now, under order management, go to manage order extensible, extensible flex fields. <coughs> So just do the blank search. Now, if you see here, fulfillment header information, fulfillment line information. And similarly, we have, uh, there are sales credit, uh, payment, lot serial. There are multiple flex fields are there, but for OEM, we can use the line information, header information. Sorry, fulfillment line information and header information. So there is small difference between fulfillment line and line, but we will we'll talk about that later. So now I wanted to uh, configure the EFFs at the header and also I'll show in the line level. It is very simple. <clears throat> Select this, click on edit. And this is the default category, which is provided by the Oracle. And after that, first step is manage contexts. So here, click on plus. <clears throat> you can provide anything. 
So I'm giving just A, B, C. A, B, C, uh, header, anything, any name. So as per the requirement, it's header, header, context. Okay, so description also I'll give. And here, <coughs> behavior is multi-row and single row. So we're talking about the single row today. And then context usage, you have to select the default one. So additional header information. After that, you just click on save. So once you save the farm, system will automatically enable the context sensitive segments. See, you can see the press. Now I'll create two contexts. <clears throat> so, uh, a, B, C, some color. Okay. So data type, character, number, there are similar like a, uh, I, I, I think like, you know, you people has been created uh, for context, I mean, segments for AFF, same kind of st strategy. Okay, table column. And value set, I want to create one, some list of values. <clears throat> so here, I'll give value set color value set. Okay, description I have to give module is orders. Module is orders. This is so there are a plenty format, independent, dependent, subset, table. So most of the time we'll go for independent format. And table also widely used feature. Okay, I'm going currently with independent. And this will be character. Subtype will be text. Maximum length is some 30 characters. <clears throat> Save. Save and close. So automatically your value set will appear here. Now I want to add my values. Manage values. So here, just put it your colors. So click on plus. So I'm keeping red color. Orange, or you can keep orange. <clears throat> so it is uh, mercury color or anything blue. Okay, so like that, whatever values which you want to bring, you can bring here. You can add those many well, seven close seven close so list of values so display size i want to keep just 30 is enough otherwise the length it will come more and here enabled automatically will come if it is mandatory while creating your order so you can make it as required and also we have one more one more uh, uh, checkbox color as BA enable. So this will be used for reports. Once you enable this, this particular segment will appear or otherwise it won't appear in the way. <clears throat> Save, I'll enable this. Save the one, Save and close. Now I'll create one more is ABC uh, custom just value. I'll keep it as character. And uh, so this is the just test box. Let me see anything is there. Test box creation. Uh, 
or otherwise it will be there text something text let me check it out Hmm. One one fifty characters. Anything just for characters. Okay, so here also give some thirty. So this way you can make number, date, date and time, whatever you want. Select. So I'm creating only two. Save and close. Okay, so like that you have to define how many segments here. Save. Save and close. Now I created context. Under the context, I created those segments. Now save and close. Now what I have to do, I need to associate that context. This is the second step. So here, click on plus. Click on search. So your context will appear here. And also, same way, you have to associate to pages. <clears throat> so you can, you can create a number of contexts okay so this is a brand or something anything abc underscore brand so usage is additional header click on ok and here you need to associate your context just do the blank search so here just do the save once now go here click on plus click on search sometimes system will expect the save so that's all manage context create a segments and then come here associate your context associate a context to the page and under the page what is the context name that's all save Save and close. Then next step is deploy. <coughs> deploy the flex fields. So once your deployment has been completed, the next step is publish this EFFs. Publish this EFF flex field. So that is the next step you have to follow immediately after uh, what you call this flex field deployment has been done. So deployment successful and moment after this, once you click on OK, system will show the green color here. See green color queue. Click on done. Go to next step is publish extensible flex attributes. So it is a yes, a job will run. Click on submit. So how to verify that? Make a duplicate. Go to tools. Here, schedule process. Schedule process. So it is running now. So if you want to search with your name, Test one, two, three, click on search. So it will show succeeded. Now one time, <clears throat> just do the sign out. It's not required, but best practice, like, you know, in order to avoid the errors, just do one time, sign out and sign in. Now, so now go to order management, go to order management. 
create your order. Create your order. So hope I have a data access. Business unit 0 T4 and ABC ABC internal customer <coughs> think this is the one which we have okay so select item think setup is not there let me try this let me check the new pricing somebody has removed that's fine any of these are dimensions people are doing always are ending okay edit additional information so now see, this is my context. So under this one, system created two values. So ABC color. So if you open that, we'll get a blue, orange, all those things. And also you can give whatever values. So this is the way you can bring the context, the DFF values under the header. Uh, something, somebody, because they have done something for my strategy. System is not pulling. Let me try any chances. Okay. Uh, and there may be some issue here. But pricing strategy is not invoking. So, anyhow, our uh, motto is like you have to verify the edit additional information field. So, this is the way you can bring your additional fields similarly you okay, cannot show the line level because uh, it's in this uh, pricing strategy is not working so i'll show to you that when later classes so that is the way you can build your eff action show flex fields so thank you guys uh, we'll meet uh, in another session thank you so much have a wonderful day